Hello, and on behalf of the Accutech crew, thank you for looking at our YouTube channel. Here's a quick how-to video on assigning lots or serial numbers to a product you produce for stock using our MIS Assemble function. Just a quick reminder that both lots and serial numbers are used throughout the receiving and selling process. Some products are assigned a lot or serial number during the production process as well. Lots have a one-to-many relationship, as multiple products can have the same lot ID. On the other hand, serial numbers have a one-to-one -one relationship, as a unique number is assigned to only one product. In order to use this feature, you will need to make sure your product file indicates the item you are building is set up to either be a lot or serialized item. Next, you'll need to go to the I-4 control table, and we'll go there right now and we'll go to our tab number 10. You need to then tell the system you would like to assign lots or serial numbers when using the MIS assemble function. The options are no, optional, or required. The no option is obvious. The optional setting will ask you if you want to assign a lot or serial number, but allow you to build the product without assigning a lot or serial number and the required option will assign the lot or serial number. My suggestion is to use the required option all the time. The system also gives you a numbering format option. The freeform option will ask for user input. The system does use some logic when you enter a starting serial number as it will look for a pattern and attempt to come up with an ending serial number. For example, if ABC001 was entered as a starting serial number, the system will put AB005 as the ending serial number if you're building five. The date-based format will be year-year, month-month, day-day, followed by a dash and three additional digits. For example, if you are building a quantity of three, the serial numbers will be year-year, month-month, day-day, dash 001, then dash 002, then dash 003. The system assigned number option gets the next number from a file. It is a 16-digit number and starts out with a default of 1. Their serial number will not include leading zeros. There is a separate file to assign serial numbers for lot items as well. The system also allows you to put a two-character prefix in front of the number. This option is helpful if you stock and sell a serialized product that you bought from an outside vendor, like a hose or cable assembly, but you also fabricate an identical product in-house. The prefix can help distinguish the outside vendor's product from a product you fabricated yourself. Let's go ahead and go to our MIS Assemble option. We'll go to Inventory, choose our Kits and Assembly, and choose Assemble or Disassemble a Kit for Stock. I'll go ahead and type in who's doing the assembly. We'll look up an item that we assemble. And remember, it is a serialized item. We'll go ahead and tell the system we want to build three. We'll remove our raw materials from Warehouse 1 and place our end products in Warehouse 1. And we'll choose to update our last and average cost fields. We'll go ahead and send our production report to the past. And you'll notice a window pops up. The system recognizes the item is serialized. And since I chose to put a two character prefix in front of the serial number, the system will show the prefix that it will use. Once I hit enter, the system will automatically assign the serial numbers based upon the numbering format I chose in the control table. In this case, it is using a date format. Once complete, the system will automatically remove the components, place the end products in stock, and updates the serial number file. If I chose to assign lots and the, and the item was a lot type item, the process would be similar and the system would update your lot file. Let's go ahead and exit and go to our serial number maintenance file and we'll look for that tow cable and then we'll just scroll forward and you'll notice the first serial number is there in the date format dash 001. You'll also notice that it will show the date it was manufactured and who manufactured it. The item is now ready to be sold to a customer.
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact our support center to schedule a training session on this feature.